Hey everyone, it's Trish. I'm back with another quick tip. I don't know how many of you uh, out there love to drink water all the time or are trying to drink more water and the best place to sometimes drink a lot of water is when you are in your car commuting to and from work or the park or wherever you're going. It's become such a staple for me that if I get in the car without my water I feel really weird. But then the uh, problem always happens that you know I grab my keys, I grab my purse, I grab my grocery list or diaper bag and all these different things and I'm getting ready to go, I'm going down the stairs and I'm like oh I don't have my water and then I'm like oh goodness where's the where is my water bottle it's not going to be cold I have to stand here at the ice machine I'm in our refrigerator putting ice in adding water all this kind of thing so here's something I've been doing the past couple weeks that I really like and maybe you could give it a try too I have these Brita bottles they do come with a filter um, we have since taken the filter off just because we use our own water typically here in our refrigerator that already has a filter and it's just easier that way. But what I've done is I will take and I will fill up the bottom quarter to halfway of water and then I put it in my freezer and I have a basically then a big chunk of ice and I have several of these so I fill them up and I keep them in there. I do recommend kind of keeping the spout where you drink out of open. But anyway, then when you're ready to go, you just grab it, you fill the remaining part of the bottle with water, and you have super cold water um, to have uh, wherever you're going. And then the ice you know, is going to obviously eventually melt, especially as hot as it's been. And then you have a full bottle of cold water, and it just takes one second to fill it up, screw the lid on, and you're out of there. So these are rubber. I haven't had any problems with them. Um, cracking or doing any, doing anything like that. I think it also helps that it's not being filled all the way up with ice or with water that turns into ice because this way it still has lots of room to expand. A different bottle that I'm um, giving this a go on. This is kind of a, a flexible plastic as well. It is a Rubbermaid bottle and I'm doing the same thing with it. As you can tell it hasn't been in there the full amount of time. I haven't tried straight up plastic ones. I'm uh, a little bit afraid that they might crack, but you could try it. Maybe try it on one that you um, is not your most beloved water bottle because then if it cracks, then you'll be sad. But anyway, this is a quick tip that you'll always have cold water ready to go and um, it makes it super fast, super easy. We have like five of these. So, and then whenever you know you come back in from the car, if it's empty, uh, fill it back up and put it right back in your freezer. So that was your quick tip of the day. Comment below and let me know if you try this or if you think it's a good idea or how else that you keep it. I know some people just fill them up and keep them in their refrigerator um, all the time. Um, I have more space in my freezer and I want mine to be super cold. Um, you know, cold from the fridge is fine, but um, this has been working out really, really well. So as I said, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thumbs up if you like this idea. And I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care.